I'm at the forest side of Blueberry Park. Um, trying to use the tripod as a steady cam. It doesn't work that great, but it, it, it helps. Um, and I have image stabilization off this time because before it would cause some, how do you pronounce that, vignetting. Um, had some dark corners that kept appearing whenever the camera would move a little bit. So I figure I'll take that off and see if it's if it looks better. Um, some of what I was whining about initially was that just a little bit ago I finally got an email response from one out of the almost 20 ads that I had responded to for housing in Eureka. <laughs> Two weeks later. And this is one of the people that knew very well about what my living situation was at the time and how desperate I was to get out of there. And it takes them two weeks to respond. You know? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm quite frankly, I'm glad I'm not there still. Um, <laughs> the bus system, the, uh, <laughs> there were only two bars that I'd really be able to play live music at. There wasn't shit for a music scene there. Um, I mean, the list goes on and on about that place. There were things that I loved about it. But there were more things that were disappointing about it. Oh, another thing is like... Okay, the homeless population was like... I don't, the area that I was in at 6th and P was so huge that I'd say 25% of people in that area were homeless. Anyone, you just, you know, <laughs> a quarter of the people that you would run across there in that area were homeless. And I would constantly see at night people just walking, you know, opening up the gate of, of someone's yard just and just walking in and trying to find something to steal. I could count at least five times that happened to the place I was living. You know? <laughs> just, let's just go right into someone's yard, here we go. It's like, are you serious? So, you know, there was some, there was some negative things there, but you know, I, I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be here. I can walk around in my sandals and not worry about ticks, you know, when I go to forested areas. Um, there's not much more to see in this way because you, you eventually get to somewhat the, you get back to the street in just a little bit. So I'm going to turn around, but, uh, all right, some of the vegetation there in the parks there were just, it was a copper, copper gulch park, copper, whatever the name of that was. Beautiful place. I mean, gorgeous. What's this? This wasn't here before. This trail was not here. Where does this lead? This is definitely new. Wow. Uh, getting old, I'm going, uh. Someone had something going on here, but what that was, I don't know. This almost looks like a trail. Let's see. See, this kind of thing? Just, no. You didn't want to do this in shorts. If, if this was in, in, in Eureka, you didn't want to do any of this because you'd, you'd have ticks all over you. <laughs> there wasn't much worry about... Oh, this is interesting. I've just never seen this area before. I mean, I've been going here for years, and I've just never seen this area. It doesn't look like it goes any further, but 
You can see some black plastic for something that people were doing out here, but yeah, there's interesting. Anyway, yeah, this kind of thing I just couldn't do out there. You know, put on your boots, tuck your pants into your boots, put a uh, rubber band on it. Oh, now I think of the movie The Jerk, with the lady saying, put a rubber on it. And he talked about germs and the hot dog. Oh, no. <laughs> um, huh. Gotta say, this would be a perfect little camping spot right here. Yeah, I just I just might come out here sometime during the summer and just even though I have a place to stay, it would almost be kind of neat to just try to just one night come out here and, and bring my tent. Ooh, I'm being a bad guy. <laughs> you know? So many others do it so often out here, it would just be kind of interesting. And local. But, uh... Still trip though, in two weeks, I finally get one response, you know? It's like people are so apprehensive to someone who says they're on disability and not for physical things that, yeah. You know, for, with my last video that I made, there's been some MG Tows that were just like, you're not going your own way, you're on the government dollar, da 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 da, you're useless, you're a piece of shit. You know? There's plenty of people who aren't physically able to work and you're, you're just doing this. I'm like, you know, it's only been this past year that I would even be slightly capable of being able to keep work because of how fucking neurotic I am about stuff. It was only after August of 2013 where I didn't have such panic issues that, wow, this isn't, this isn't very feasible. But right out there is the street anyway, so I don't need to go there, but, um, <clears throat> uh, you know, I've got some issues. I still have some issues. I'm working on them. They're getting better all the time. Eventually, I will be back in the workforce. I'm hoping it'll be this year. You know? I mean, shit, I should at least start going to those voiceover websites and trying to get work through those again. Um, I'm not going to make much there, but at least I can make a little something. Um, I just want to look this way. There's usually a swamped out area when you go this way a little bit, but I just want to look at it. because This has been all cut up and it usually was... It was usually a really narrow, almost animal width trail, and as you see, it's pretty walkable right now. Hey, where's the water going to start? Okay, it's kind of there. But yeah, it's all over there. It's a, that whole area is all covered with water, but interesting. This place has little changes all the time. I'm glad to be here. I'm really glad to be here. I miss, I was missing this. And I wasn't even gone that long, but I was really missing this. I come here a lot. I come to this place a lot. And now I have a slug in my 
sandal there. <laughs> Yeah, I miss this place so, so much. I guess I'm just sort of meant to be in the Northwest. <laughs> well, that was almost a fall. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't whine about the other area because I mean I'm 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 doing so well here. I guess all in all I'm complaining about what could have been and not what is. So I want to check a spot here. I don't think I'll be able to get through, but I just want to look. Cause when I was last here, like, I don't know how many months ago, it had kind of got grown in, but I just want to look. You'll see this, uh, one of those little square cement pillars, kind of like, well, you can't see it from here now, but, uh, there are these square cement pillars that are painted kind of a fluorescent green on top. And over there is a is this entrance to another spot. And I just want to look. It's not looking very feasible, but I'm going to just look anyway. Ooh. Ooh. Love. Okay. Well, let's see. You know, something that is kind of odd about Tacoma's parks. Okay, this is very picker bushy. But uh, something that's odd is the, there are so many parks out here that the reason why the park even exists is because there's a sewage problem that would be too expensive for them to fix. So they just put a park there instead. And I know that sounds like, you know, oh, I'm making conspiracies, but it's like, no, no, really, I could, I could, I could prove it to you if you could if you could smell it. Oh, I guess I can kind of get through here. Couldn't do this several months ago, so. All right. God, no one's been through here in a long time, it looks like. Those are some old spider webs. I mean, like cobweb type spider webs. Okay. Uh, wow. All right. Oh, someone dug a different way. Usually went around this way. Hmm. Well, couldn't have been that long if this area, this little path is slightly new. Hmm, spider webs. Rotten apples. Wow. All right. It's kind of neat to see this. Okay. Spidey. Oh, Spidey. Pygar. Pygar, take me away. Okay.
Huh. Let's see here. Well, remnants of the something that was there at one time. And this is a spot I used to, right here is where I used to come and smoke a bowl. Huh. Interesting. Well, let's walk back. Now I will, I'll have one hit of weed, I mean hit, not bowl, but hit of weed ranging from every night to every other night and that's it and that does me well does me very well I don't need more than that well I'm glad this area is still doable because during the times that this ever does get like we have a really nice day and there's a lot of people walking through the trails this area people just don't go so it's kind of cool man those apples stink <laughs> rotten apples that's not a song killing me softly with his thong okay Ah, all right, ah. again, glad I have glasses to avoid being poked in the eye with branches. Okay, up, more cobwebs in the face, yay. There's another thing out here, no black widows. We don't have brown recluse. We do have hobo spiders that can cause the uh, the skin necrosis, the flesh necrosis, but they usually don't, so, but they can. They're still not very common, so. You know, I'm not even sure if they have webs. So, back to the car. We're heading there. Up. Oh, I feel precipitation. I feel precipitation. All right. It's weird walking through here without Misty. Man, I miss Misty. Talked with Tyler last night. Um, the bears are still there. I thought they were like furious with me, <laughs> but I guess they're not that pissed because <laughs> they know that everything I said was true, <laughs> and Tyler knows about all that stuff, and <laughs> so I'm going to go out and hang out with them, but I don't want to worry about coming by to visit Misty and Tyler just because the bears are there. So... But Misty's doing really well. She's been really, really happy, so I'm, I'm glad. Because I was a little worried. Even though, you know, he would say that she's doing well, but we had like an hour and a half discussion last night, so Tyler and I did. So, you know, uh, if you just want to look at what's on the side here, we've got all this swampy area. And yes, this is very, very filled with mosquitoes during the summer. Well, 
hopefully it's not raining enough to get too much of the rain on the lens or anywhere in the camera. <sighs> so. Anyway, I feel so very fortunate. I used to say lucky. I feel so lucky. And I'm very fortunate. Is lucky... I know, there's almost a religious connotation to that kind of thing, you know? So... It's like karma, you know? I use the term karma to refer to the... to Dan. And you know how he will screw over a lot of people and then wonders why he gets screwed over. <laughs> you can call it karma, but it's not really an accurate description. Many years ago, this surface we're walking on, they didn't have the mulched wood here. And there used to be these two... People would come here and try to four-wheel through here, and there were these huge, huge grooves on both sides. And this, this trail, you could barely walk it in the wet seasons. And also, this whole area through here was so filled with brush, um, the neighborhood wasn't very comfortable with it and people would you know every every so often there'd be some sort of a break-in and then they'd go hide out in here and they really I mean they have kept this area on this side foresty but there was not nearly as many hiding spots as there were over here so they really turned this into a beautiful park and I'm not normally one to you know, like when they will take a totally natural looking area and, you know, modify it to be park-like, but, uh, no, they did a good job here. Anyway.